good YouTube? It's your boy Dev back again. First listen, please ain't. And today, damn, hair a little wild today. Hold oh, on, hair is a little wild today. Today we are going to listen to another Me Yam the Monday, where I go into a new artist. You know what I'm saying? I never heard before. That's some of y'all listen to, and that's really low profile. You know, still have yet to come to the rise, and you know that's where I come in, where I kind of help out and give them a little exposure for my little following. But today we're gonna take a listen to this new track from Zamara called Z versus Z. I'm guessing that's Zamara versus Zamara. I don't really know where she's from. You know, got the hair going on. That just, you know, y'all got this thing from my curly hair chicks out there. You know what I'm saying? I definitely love me some curly hair women. Usually when it comes to the female artists that y'all tell me to listen to, there's usually like, like the Summer Walkers. And, uh, you know, y'all told me to listen to Georgia back in the day. They're just like the, I guess the R&B chicks. So I don't really know. Y'all haven't really shown me to some, um, you know, rappers some female rappers yet i mean i guess if y'all want to count cardi b but fuck that i, was, I don't count that but we're just gonna take a listen to this i don't want to do too much talking you know i like to get right into my meme the mondays so with that being said like I always been fucking talking too much let's get right to this we got zamir z versus z y'all ready <laughs> Greatness. All my life was painted. How to make a mark if these brushes been stainless? How do I move on if this heart remains vengeful? I forgive the old me, but sometimes I forget to be a little strong. Hold on, she got the, the classical instruments going on and shit. Hold on, I, you kind of you kind of spark my interest right now. Hold on. But I'm honest in the song, and I'm honest when I say the drug can really change. Breaking this apart, big money, power, what it came. Hey, Zamira, hold on, Zamira, hold on. You might have something here. Hold on. You got classical instruments over a trap sound. You know, this might be some new shit right now. Hold on. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. UK grind right here. She is she not from here? Is she from the other side? Hold on, you know I might have to. Zamira, hold on. Let me know. Man, whenever you get some classical instruments involved, like it's it's always going to sound good, man. There's a reason why Beethoven and Mozart and all the motherfuckers from back in the day. It's a reason why their shit is still timeless. People are still listening to it. It's used in samples, whatever you want to call it. It's because that music is timeless, man. I always say uh, that the reason why you have a lot of old heads, or you know, your parents always tell you like music was just better so much back then because they appreciated the the art of it you know what i'm saying like the how how it took every sound to make something sound good like you need to create all this shit you need to bring a band together you need to bring this voice and this voice and that voice nowadays everything can just be uh mastered with technology you know what i'm saying you can have all the computers you can have the beats maker in front of you i mean i still haven't appreciated because i think that's a different art too you know pressing all the different buttons it's just that you have all the sounds you know created for you know the artificial sounds you know, it's not what you're gonna get from a, a professional piano player, a professional, you know, cello player, a professional violinist. You know, like it's always going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like you can't, you know, you can't really get soul. You know, I feel like the the actual like beats maker shit, they're like soulless, I guess you could say, because you know you can always feel. I don't know what it is, man, but you can feel someone when they're playing the instrument. You know, based on how they're playing. So like right here, man, she just had that that thing going on, the classical feel going on in the beginning of the track, and, you know, and it had a little trappy vibe to it as well. And then like it gets towards the end, and she actually started rapping and it had you know the trap sound still going, but the classical instruments in the background. That I think that's something that artists from nowadays can learn from. You know, like you can still have that trappy blicky on, like you can. <laughs> 
<laughs> like you can still have that in your music and still create vibes like this. Like this shit was very pleasant to listen to. That, that's that's my thing. It was very pleasant to listen to, and I think that um, when you get to a lot of these rappers nowadays, everything just sounds so similar. The next trap artist sounds like the next trap artist, and yeah, they might have a little altered different voices and whatnot, and some use a little auto tune here and there, but it all sounds the same. Maybe add some instruments like this, the mirror just did, and, and maybe you can create something that differentiates yourself. You know, from the mass artists that are, you know, producing the same shit. I, that's just how I feel, man. Get in the comments below. Let me know what y'all think about this artist. I'm going to put her shit down below. Uh, like I said, man, diamond in the dirts. You know, like everybody has to start from the bottom. No one really just starts to pop off. It's all about luck and it's all about virability. All right. And that's kind of here where I'm here. Like, I like to listen to new artists because that's how I found the Sylvan LeCues and, and the Pink Sweats that I listened to last week. And then now this artist is a mirror. I mean, I might, I might go ahead and peep a little bit more from her just because, like I said, that, that classical shit at the beginning, shit sounded like some uh, Wale Sam Drew. And it sounded like, what was the other track that had me uh, that had me going fucking, uh, oh, remember uh, with, with Tory Lanez and, and the Meek Mill track? Oh, that one. It was a new Mercedes. <laughs> kind of like that, so I'll fuck with that, man. Hey, but get in the comments. Don't forget, follow me on social media. Let me know what you want to hear. And until the next time, it's been your boy, Dad. We out.